Hello guys, this is Mauro from Infotech.com and on this video we're going to look at the features and changes included on Windows 10 build 17682. This is a new test preview for Windows 10 version 1809 expected to release later this year. Now let's have a closer look at the most worthy improvements in this release. On Windows 10 build 17682, Sets is getting a few new improvements. For example, the new tab page now shows your frequently used apps in the destination list. Also, the All Apps list is not available in the new tab page as well, as you can see right here, which now removes the need to reach for the Start menu. If you use the Project to this PC feature on Windows 10, starting with the version 1809, in order to help you to know when you're wirelessly projecting your screen to another device and quickly disconnect and reconnect. Windows 10 now will show a new control banner at the top of the screen to keep informed about the state of the connection. Using this banner, you can connect and disconnect and clicking the gear button allows you to tune the connection to optimize the screen latency depending on the mode you're using, including game mode, video mode, and productivity mode. On the uh, settings app, there is not a lot going on, but now you can install the remote server administration tools from the optional features page. The deal here is that previously, after an upgrade, those who needed this tool had to reinstall them manually. Now, using the settings app, the remote server administration tools will start automatically after every upgrade. Also on Windows 10 build 17682, we have a new updated version of Microsoft Edge that now supports web authentication, which is a technology that allows users to sign in into website faster and securely without password using Windows Hello and other forms of authentications. But of course, the developer has to implement this in order to work. In addition, Microsoft is adding some new setup tweaks. So if you have Windows 10 installed for a long time and you've just been doing upgrades with version 1809 and moving forward after an upgrade, Windows 10 might show you a page like this to go through some setup settings that you may have missed due to features not being available when you install Windows 10 for the first time on your device. If you see this new experience when upgrading to version 1809, simply click the Let's Go button to complete the setup or click the Skip Now button to go straight to the desktop. Finally, starting with Windows 10, build 17682 on Windows Security, more specifically, on the Windows Defender antivirus settings, you will now find a new feature called Attack Surface Reduction that apparently stops applications' actions that might infect your device. And that's pretty much all that's new with Windows 10 Build 17682. Remember that we're still in the early days of the development for the Windows 10 Redstone 5 update, so these builds are pretty buggy and a lot of things don't work and they're not as stable. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.